Hello, this is Peter Newman. In another video, I've shown how to use the auto skin to turn this wing form into a solid body of geometry that could be subtracted from a domain of air in order to mesh for CFD. And uh, in this video, I'm uh, going to do a more refined approach that doesn't use auto skin and allows the construction of geometry that's more amenable to structured meshing with uh, quad element shape, quad uh, hex, hex shaped cells. So uh, first thing to note about this geometry is it's not precise on the edges. And so there's two planes that are gonna be used on the facets tab to split and we're going to split this body with that plane and now we can split this body with this plane and there's uh, two pieces that we're going to throw away with s for select s on the keyboard lets us select things on the uh, menu now we have a nice squared up bit of geometry and for this video i'm going to just uh, mesh a uh, 10 by 10 millimeter sized uh, block and uh, then might be able to do this in blocks down and blocks across to capture the surface shape in um, blocks of blocks of air <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to need a block of air and I would do that in the design section and I might select uh, a plane to sketch uh, a rectangle. And uh, if we uh, look straight on at that rectangle, we might uh, snap to this um, and that plane there, making sure to snap to the planes and not the grid, which if you turn off snap to grid, uh, basically guarantees that. And then in 3D, we want to pull this so we're already on the pull tool so we just want to pull uh, in two directions initially and uh, make sure we get out there and then maybe want to pull in this direction for a much longer um, back and then pull in this direction for a much more space above and much more space below uh, but that's our block of air now um, because i'm going to just do a 10 millimeter square, I'm going to go straight into the split body and break the air up into a few pieces. And I'm going to break the air up into, well, actually, I'm going to break the air up into uh, this 10 millimeter section. So there's the block of air I'm going to keep, and I'm going to turn off the other three. And I'm going to split this air body with geometry that I'll use on the um, facet body that I'll surface on the facet body. So let me uh, use the select tool to name this body uh, air one. And uh, we're going to now slice up the surface as well. But what we want to do is divide it into a top surface and a bottom surface. So first I'm going to uh, back to the facet tab. I'm going to use the split. I'm going to split this body at, uh, let's say, this this part here. So that that body will become the the front, where it will mesh separately from the back, because the back we're going to split into a top surface and a bottom surface. And to do that, we want to go back to the select tool. So we're on the select tool and we want to just double click on a region and then drag that slider all the way up until it grabs the entire top surface. And we'll do control C, control V. So this is the top surface. And so I'm going to uh, rename that and call it um, top. Actually, that may be the bottom. And um, we'll turn off the bottom. 
and we're going to do the same trick here. We're going to pick one and then drag that slider all the way up and do control C, control V. And we don't need that. And this is the, uh, let's also turn the front back on. This body here is going to be called top. And that is top. Um, so this is this is the tail combined. We we'll just might call that tail. We could delete it, but uh, let's and this this will call front. So now we have a piece of the top, and we're actually going to work on just a little subsection of that. So we're going to split the top up some more. We're going to split the, this body at this plane. And then we're going to split. We're going to split uh, this body. We're going to split this body at this plane. So there's our little piece that we want to put a surface across. So we'll turn off the other pieces, <clears throat> and we're going to turn off the planes uh, for now. So with the select tool, pick all the planes, and uh, here is where we create. A, um, with the tools menu, a skin, a piece of geometry on top of this. And the way it works is you click once to get started, and then you click uh, as many points along here as you want, um, and it will snap it to that edge and double click on the corner so that you can make a sharp turn. Otherwise, it wants to do splines. And where you have a lot of uh, curvature, you can put in more points. Um, and where it's fairly straight, you can space them out a bit more. Double clicking to make the spline turn the corner. Very important. If you forget to double click, start over and double click. And we're going to double click on here. And the last edge. And that has created a surface that fits the STL approximately and the degree to which it is uh, off has been um, controlled a little bit by the number of samples. So we have a fairly tight, uh, you saw the grid of points that it was using. Um, but it is a spline surface, so there are limits to how closely it can follow. And under the measure tab, deviation, we can pick the surface we just created and control click the facets and it will color code the amount in red and blue, the amount by which it uh, misses the STL. So in blue here, it's uh, 0.02 millimeters uh, into the wing, and in red, it's uh, 0.05 millimeters away from the ring. And where we're on an edge, we could easily push that down by picking more points along here, but uh, that is the measurement tool. So the next piece is on the design tab uh, we want to um, turn off the facets because we're done with that facet body we want the surface we created on it and we're going to use that surface to slice that air and that's the last step is to split body split this body using that surface and now we can put away the bottom half of the wing of the air. And this is a nice rectangular block that can have beautiful hex elements and an inflation layer to um, mesh the wing with structured uh, mesh. So continue those operations um, through the wing and um, 
that's the lesson for now and uh, let me know how it goes for you. Thanks, bye.